Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. So I'm going to talk about hacking frequent flyer programs, how to take the airline industry and their, their loyalty programs and manipulate them around so that you can uh, fly for free and get free upgrades and, and basically make it so flying doesn't suck. Make it so that you get to sit in nice seats. You know, one of the things that exists in these airline seats is you walk past and you think, these people paid thousands of dollars. And the truth of the matter is, they paid the same amount you're sitting in economy. They just figured out how to manipulate the system better. So I started trying to figure out how to manipulate the system and how to make it so I get to fly and have more fun. Um, but you shouldn't do any of this because it's killing the planet. Uh, the carbon footprint of an economy class seat is like driving an SUV alone, and a business class seat is like you're driving two SUVs. And the first class seat, those really nice ones, those are like three SUVs. Um, but you should do it because you get seats like this. <laughs> And it's really nice, and you get customer service answers that uh, actually care about you. You get lounges to take showers at layovers. Um, you get to fly around the world for free. And uh, so the whole idea of, of making travel not suck is, is about becoming a frequent flyer within these programs. Airlines aren't allowed to merge across countries, so they do these things called alliances. But really, I call them cartels. Basically, you're allowed to come in and, and, and have your status count on these different airlines, have them count across the different systems. Status works by these different levels. You start off at the bottom and you don't count to them, and the more you fly with the same airline, the higher you get. The whole point is to earn points and miles so that you move up the system and so you end up at the top. Eventually, when you get up at the top, you get like private cabins on airplanes. This is a Singapore Airlines where they actually give like doors that close for your seats. Um, you get uh, lounges, you get upgrades, you don't have to stand in line, you don't have to wait for security. Um, they actually are nice to you. Now, sometimes people don't fly enough to count this, so they do something called mile runs. Mile runs are intentionally flying to just get back on the plane and come back. It's like, let's do lunch in Singapore. <laughs> and uh, what you do is you find the cheapest route possible. You find a way in which you can fly for very little money. With some, some intentional effort, you can get the top level elite status for about $2,000. Occasionally, with the right games, it's been $1,000. What that means is, for the rest of the year, you fly in first class, even though you paid for the cheap tickets. For the rest of the year, you get nice lounges. Instead of doing mile runs just for anything, you, uh, this is much more common. It's a sort of a, a flying the most obscure route possible to get to your destination. So this is you know, Montevideo in South America to Johannesburg via New York and London that I flew last year. And I got 30,000 miles for this instead of the normal 10,000 just crossing the South Atlantic. Another thing you can do is intentionally get bumped. Uh, airlines oversell their seats, and so you can get bumped and choose a different flight and go later. One time between San Francisco and Chicago, I got bumped five times and got $1,400 in travel vouchers in one day. And so some people go and do that intentionally. To understand miles, you have to understand there's two kinds of miles. There's elite qualifying miles and there's redeemable miles. The elite qualifying miles are those are the ones you sort of the button seat. You're actually sitting in the airplane seat. And those count towards status. The other ones are the miles you get sort of through all sorts of other programs that count for upgrades. The airlines discovered these miles. They said, whoa, we could sell these. So they started selling them to all sorts of people and created a secondary market in miles. One of the ways you can get a lot of miles is through credit cards. City Card, for example, has a deal where you get 30,000 miles for signing up for the credit card. Except they don't limit you to the number of credit cards you can have. So you sign up, spend $750, cancel. Sign up, spend $750, cancel. You do churning. Do it enough, and you get lifetime status. That means you don't even have to fly at all anymore. Your miles just count forever. Um, and then you sort of maintain this ultimate frequent flyer status, and you get upgraded, and they treat you nice. Um, the last thing you can do to get status is something called segments. These are the, the number of flights you have instead of the distance. Sometimes a single flight is really cheap. For example, a few years ago in Thailand, you could get a round trip ticket for $18. So people would fly to Thailand and then spend all week flying around northern Thailand. And they'd rack up 100 segments. And then they get elite status. So how do you do this stuff? Well, there's a whole bunch of tools online. People are doing it. A lot of geeks like this stuff. MyoCalc lets you enter in the routes and figure everything out and then calculate what's a sort of a good route, what's something that works. ITA software makes the back end of a bunch of uh, sort of airline ticket engines. They, they put up this site just as a recruiting tool to find software developers. They just got bought by Google. And 
basically, you can go in and you can see what travel agents can see. Expert flyers is another way of seeing what travel agents can see. You can set alerts. So when seats become available, when award seats become available, when upgrades become available, it sends you an email, and then you can jump right in and get it. Um, you know, if you're really extreme, you can become a travel agent yourself, <laughs> which some people do. Uh, all this stuff is discussed online in this uh, group called um, Flyer Talk, and they're sort of really obsessed with flying. You know, it's like a whole community of people who treat flying for as earning as many miles and as far as you could go as opposed to looking for a direct flight. So thank you very much.